please introduce yourself and your involvement in IoT. Hi, my name is Mei Wang. I'm a co-founder and CTO at Zinbox. Zinbox is a startup providing security solutions for IoT. So now you've been um, you've been in the IoT business for a little while for a little while now. Where would you consider we are in IoT security today? We consider IoT security is more like uh, PC era 20 years ago okay. when PC just came out. Now IoT is in its early adoption stage and IoT security is not quite on top of both the user's mind nor the um, uh, manufacturer's mind That's because right. manufacturers are very, uh, try to they're limited to, they try to get to the market, get the product, go to market as fast as possible, and they're limited by budget, and also they're constrained by their expertise in security. Hmm. And actually, uh, I was at Cisco CTO office uh, before I started the company, uh, Zingbox. I was working on security for many years, uh, even before IoT became such a hot topic, and one of my first project at Cisco was IPv6. Now today, I was working with Cisco uh, fellow Steve Deering, who yes. was the creator of IPv6. IPv6 yeah. Now IPv6 became an enabler of uh, IoT. And But we actually really start seeing the deployment of IoT for the past 24 uh, months 24 because months. of all the technologies are more available and they become less expensive. Right. And also for IoT security because as more and more adoptions of IoT devices, we start just started seeing people paying more attention about IoT security. For example, when we started the company last year, we couldn't even find any analyst data to show how big the IoT market is. But just a, several weeks ago, uh, Garner uh, came out a report and defined this IoT security as a new area and came out the total addressable market and all these all these areas. And also for today's uh, conference, mm. IoT. Security Security is one of the first. It is the first conference addressing right. IoT security. So we That's start right. to see people are paying more attention, uh, ha getting more awareness of IoT security. So using, I like the analogy of 20 years ago with the PC business. Um, IoT security now seems to be almost an afterthought, or at least a second priority, in as opposed to getting all the bells and whistles and the and the more, let's say, compelling features. Um, security is you need security only when you need it, and if you don't need it, it's not that you know not that attractive. So what happened, and do you, what happened in the PC world, or do you think it'll be the same thing? That when what's going to have to happen before IoT security becomes sexy? I hope we don't have to take that kind of detour that PC had to go through. I hope we. Uh, learn the lesson from the history, just like when we were doing IPv6, mm. we are learning lots of lessons we learned IPv4. from IPv4. And I hope for IoT security, we can actually work on the solution, provide a solution to prevent lots of incidents from happening, right. instead of have to wait for each incident and then provide the according solution afterwards. So you're hoping we're hope you're hoping that we don't have to take the detour of some big problems and then solving those problems or big security risks or high profile security breaches or, or do you mean something different? Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. And also I think IoT security is actually a lot more serious than yeah. just networking, a traditional networking security mm. because before we were mainly just using laptop and right. cell phones and right. uh, the worst case you lose your privacy, you lose some data, you cannot use your cell phone or uh, laptop. Right. Well, that can kill some people yes. now, but <laughs> uh, for IoT, because all these IoT devices are bridging digital world with physical world, right. and lots of them have uh, mission critical functionalities. If one device is had, it can be life threatening. For example, mm. the digital insulin pump, right. uh, the implanted heart. Mm. So they can cause a lot more serious true. consequences for That's IoT true. security. So I think we should. Um, work on it more, pay more attention to IoT security. So what do you consider as the top issues in IoT security then today? I think very top issue is definitely the awareness. We need to educate the user, we need to educate mm. the manufacturers mm. to really make security a very, not just an add-on feature, right. not something you work on later, but something you will consider from day one of your design, yes. from the day one of your product. Security by design or design. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the, I would consider the very okay. urgent and important issue. And another mm. thing is, um, I think for IoT, 
security, we need a different kind of security solution mm -hmm. because we see their new characteristics of these IoT devices that yeah. are different from our PC and smartphone days. Mm -hmm. uh, there, I, th I think there are three main characteristics make the IoT security different and okay. would require a new okay. solution. The first one is large quantity and large diversity. The it's, it's projected in 2020, by 2020, we're going to reach 50 billion IoT devices, which is five times of all the smartphones and PCs combined today. Right. And that's a huge amount of devices. And all these devices can be very different from each other, mm. starting from underlying hardware to operating system to the application running on that's top right. of the protocols, uh, et cetera. So um, it would be it require different kind of solution for IoT security. And then the second one is, even though these devices are at a mission critical positions, mm -hmm. but most of them have actually limited resources to protect themselves in terms of compute, memory, bandwidth, and power. That's right. So some of the traditional way of protecting devices might not work anymore. Mm -hmm. For example, it's very hard for you to download an antivirus software onto your Nest thermostat. Then the third characteristic, because all these devices are connected online all the time, so their risk is higher. Right. At the same time, because as we mentioned, they're at mission critical positions, then their stake is higher. If a device is breached, the consequences can be a lot more serious. Mm. So based on all these characteristics, I think we need new solutions to address IoT devices. So these are the challenges, but at the same time, we also see some different characteristics. For example, most of the IoT devices are purposely built for a few functionalities, right. not like the PC and smartphone, right. you can do everything right. about it. And also these devices are with very few or not at all human intervention. So their traffic patterns can be a lot more predictable. Mm. And that's mm. something we can Good leverage in, in terms of IoT security, mm. yeah. Good point, good point. Well, May, uh, where can people find out more about you and your company? Oh, uh, uh, our company is called Zingbox. We're based in Silicon Valley and we have a website, zingbox.com, Z-I-N-G-B-O-X.com. Okay. Very good, yeah. thank you. Thank you.